got my pants Gary Christie Got my mama and dad too Got my brothers Dylan and Ethan My grandma and my cousins too It's the Welcome back to our channel. Um, and today I thought I would sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, today is April 5th, 2020. Um, five years ago today, my mother passed away. Um, anyone that knows me knows that my mother was my best friend. Um, at the time that I was little, um, we had a special kind of relationship. Um, when I first got my permit, you know, she had, you know, she had to go with me everywhere. But even after I got my license, I still chose to take her with me everywhere. Um, you know, she was the kind of parent that went with me to concerts and you know she met some of the people with me um you know she was just a really awesome mother um you know the first the first year without her was really hard um you know I cried myself to sleep almost every night um could barely go to Walmart because she loved going to Walmart. And any time I would see someone with a pink hat on, I'd imagine thought it was her. Uh, um, you know, it was pretty bad there for a while. Um, and you know, with each year that passed, you know, it. I'm not going to say it got easier because it really never gets easier. Um. You know, and now it's been five years, and I still miss her so much. I mean, it, you know, I've lost both my parents, and, you know, I'm not saying that losing my mom was harder than losing my dad, because they were both equally hard, but I guess when my father passed away, you know, it... I wasn't able, like, I had my mom there, so I had someone to be strong for. When she died, it was like, I didn't have anybody to be strong for anymore. You know, I didn't have to be strong anymore because she was gone. Um, there are still times, even now, when... I think, you know, this is all just a bad dream and I'm gonna wake up and she's gonna be here. And even, you know, I know in my heart that's not true. You know, I know she's gone, you know. She's right here. Um, and that's something else. Um, when she first died, you know, I wasn't sure I was going to have the money to bury her. Um, I had a couple friends to send me some money, you know, to help out. Um, and then I found out the only thing I could afford was a cremation. And, you know, I was kind of freaked out about it at first, you know, but now that it's happened, you know, and it honestly makes me feel a lot better knowing that I have her right here. You know, I know my dad's with me all the time, too, but, you know, knowing what I know now, I wish we had, you know, had had him cremated. Um, you 
you know, so like I said, there's not a day that goes by that, you know, I don't think about her and I don't miss her and, you know, although it has, you know, it's gotten a little bit easier, like I don't cry 24-7 anymore, I don't cry myself to sleep anymore, um, but there are those times when I just think about her, you know, and I start missing her, and then it just hits me, and, you know, she was such an incredible woman, you know, she just, she really was, she was easy to get along with, you know, and she was so beautiful, like, inside and out, man, she had a heart of gold, you know, and she was one of the strongest women, I think, I've ever met in my entire life, you know, she, <clears throat> she battled breast cancer and beat it, you know, and I know that wasn't easy for her, but she did it. think about everything that you've done to people once they're gone, you know, everything that you've said to them, you know, and everything you've, you know, done or whatever, you know, it just, it replays in your mind over and over again, and it does in mind, because, you know, I wasn't the easiest <coughs> child to get, you know, to deal with. You know, I had my moments where I was a major pain, you know, but she never let it bother her. She never let it get to her. She always, you know, made me feel loved, you know, it made me feel like I was important. And I just, I'm lucky. I had one of the most wonderful things. One of the world's most wonderful mothers. I really did. I had an incredible mother. And I miss her every single day. You know, but I know she's still with me. And I know that she's up there with my dad and my daughter and my grandparents. You know, and she's up there waiting for me. You know, and I'll get to see her again one day. And that's what keeps me, you know, keeps me going. Is knowing that they're all together, you know. And that she can finally, you know, be with her parents, be with her husband and her granddaughter. You know, because I know that she missed them all so much. So, you know, I know that she's, she's happy. And I just hope that I could, you know, that I'm making her happy. You know, and I'm making her proud. <clears throat> but I want to thank you guys um, for letting me tell my story and letting me, you know, express my feelings. Um, I think I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to insert some pictures of my mother. Um, if I can find some videos, I might insert some of those too. I don't know. But. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe, give us a comment and a like, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.